Something I learned in my 30 year marketing career was how valuable it was to include experiences in marketing or what we called experiential. I'm Yvette Mayer and you're about to discover how the human design gates can help you create more engaging content to grow your business. In each episode, we explore a specific gates, unique frequency as a cosmic content code. Let's dive in. Gate 35 in human design is all about progress and change. From a marketing perspective, I refer to this one as inspirational experiences. And I am talking about you creating experiences for your audience that inspire action taking. This gate sits in the throat center and it's connected to the solar plexus. It has a very emotive and expressive energy to it as it comes through the throat center. But at its heart, it is about speaking to inspire others in to change, to evoke the possibility of transformation. And there's no better way of us doing this than in telling stories. So this energy is very much about tapping into stories and the process of transformation. Another thing about this gate, gate 35, is the focus on experiences. And for me, it brings up memories of my beautiful friend, Nicole, who I lost quite a few years ago now to breast cancer. I lived with her in New York City. We shared an apartment whilst she was going through treatment. And one of the things that she said to me regularly was, experiences are more important than things. And I feel this in gate 35, because the truth is, there is so much stuff in the world that we just don't need. We accumulate it. We feel some sort of sense of achievement, but it doesn't compare to the experiences we have. The memories that we build, they last a lifetime. And before we go into the low and then the high frequency of gate 35, a little reminder, you definitely want to stay to the end of this episode because I'm going to share three cosmic content prompts for gate 35. Working with these content prompts, you're able to create more resonant and relevant communication. Now, this is true whether you have gate 35 in a prominent position on your human design body graph. I'm talking about in your sun personality, maybe in your Mercury personality, or if you're watching this episode in real time, which happens at the beginning of June. The low frequency of gate 35 is known as hunger, but it's less about hunger for food and more about that feeling of emptiness that we can experience through life. It's a feeling of deep unrest, and it can also bring up a feeling of emptiness that leads us into self-sabotage type behavior. So we don't wanna do that. We wanna know that when this energy shows up, when we feel this hunger or emptiness, that it's time to lean into the high frequency. And this is a high frequency I think we can all get on board with. It's knowing that when this emptiness, this hunger shows up, that it's time for adventure. And the kind of adventure that your soul feels so deeply in your entire being. It's a time to fill yourself up, but not with things, not with external stimulus, but from the inside out. And when I say adventure, it might be the adventure of falling in love, or it may be as simple as going for a walk in nature. That's the frequency of gate 35. And whatever the adventure, do it with a sense of love. That's the emotion that wants to come through this gate. This essence of love for life, for getting out there, for taking part in it and feeling the reward from the inside out. Now let's explore our cosmic content prompts for gate 35, inspirational experiences. This is an opportunity to share your experiences. So the first cosmic content prompt is all about thinking about the many and varied experiences of your life and feeling into, use your authority, which of these is something that you want to share right now. And a reminder, no matter what the experience, whether it's a bad experience or a good experience, you do wanna find that way of building relevance to your business and your niche so that it's not just a story, but it has meaning and it is inspirational. The second cosmic content prompt. Now this is a fun one. It's about sharing an adventure that you have coming up. Do you have an adventure coming up? Because if you don't, now's time to plan one. 
As I record this, I'm planning a trip to India, which I am so excited about. I'm going away with a beautiful client. I take her on retreat once a year, and this time we're going to India. And did you notice that not only did I share my adventure with you, but I also made it relevant by sharing that this is a business trip and something that I do with my clients. And the third cosmic content prompt for Gate 35 well, I kind of spoken about this in this episode. It is remembering to put your focus on experiences over things. How can this show up for your audience, for your community? For me and my audience, this is about reminding you that it's not about how much money you make and all the things you can buy. It's actually being of service and doing work that fills your soul and creates a positive ripple effect in the world. I trust that helps you apply this cosmic content prompt. Tell us in the comments, do you have gate 35 in your chart? And if so, what did you take away from this episode? And if you don't know, make sure you go to the description and download your free human design body graph now so you have the wisdom of all the gates in your chart and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a thing.